Hey folks, this is Matt once again coming at you with another unpackaging video and really enough I got three packages. Three packages. Can you fucking believe it? I can't. Um I just gotta say first and foremost, because this is my assistant here named Trouble. But I just gotta say, this is really humbling once again. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's really humbling. It's really crazy. Uh, actually, around this time, I'm in the process of doing a couple videos for you guys. I'm gonna save up. I do around the same time, but then I save them up and spread them out so they're not all in one day. So if you wonder why you had the same shirt, well, that's why. <laughs> It's weird, I'm wearing a shirt that was a gift. So it just it's been very humbling. And this is like an early birthday present. And I'm really very thankful to the people who sent these. Um uh, and if, for anyone wondering, my birthday's in May, May twenty fifth. And uh I was a little bit depressed because I'm going to be 30. Yes, I'm going to be entering my dirty 30s in May. So I'm like, oh, fuck, 30. I just feel old. I feel like I'm getting old. But uh, these definitely cheered me up. So, uh, But seriously, thank you so much. I mean, not only one, but three packages. Three. This is me just talking shit out of my ass. I got three packages today. It's just unbelievable. I don't know where to start. This is like Christmas. Like birthdays today. Uh, but, uh. Yeah, which one to start with? Make sure I don't show the. I'll start with this one. This is a guy, First Power 100, who has sent me some really good stuff. And it just. I can't believe the guy's still sending me more stuff. It's just crazy. Because it's. He sent me some damn good stuff before. As crazy. So thank you, man. Let's see if Yeah, haven't looked at them yet. Undisputed three redemption with Scott Atkins and Michael Shannon Jenkins. Undisputed two's Boyka is back to hammer home the excitement. Eight elite fighters, prisoners from maximum security prisons around the world are brought together by a powerful underground gambling syndicate for a secret survival of the fiercest battle competition. The prize, freedom for the champion, and a payday of millions to the organizers, except the syndicate really doesn't plan on allowing anyone to walk free. Scott Atkins, the fearsome weapon... He was that guy in X-Men Orange's Wolverine? Weapon 11? Scott Atkins was the guy who doubled for Ryan Reynolds in that scene? I didn't know that. I didn't know Scott Atkins. It says right, you can't see it, but it says right there, Scott Atkins, the fearsome weapon 11 in Wolverine, X-Men Origins. <clears throat> I am confused about this, though. Wasn't Scott Atkins a bad guy? So if Scott Atkins was a bad guy in Undisputed 2, were we supposed to root for him in this one? I don't know, maybe they explain the movie, but Again, I thought he was a bad guy in the previous one, so if he's a bad guy that you wanted to hate, why should we root for him in this one? But I don't know, maybe someone can explain to me or you know, when I see the film. Um, maybe I'll see this later in April, because I have about five or so movies planned to review. And then when those get done, I'll definitely give this... Um, I think I've seen bits of this before, because I know I've seen Undisputed. I know I've seen Undisputed too. 
So I'll give this a look. Thank you. Oh, that's me coming. Oh, fuck. I cannot believe this. The collection! This is on my list of my favorite films last year, and he got it! I cannot believe he got that. Commentary, five mini featurettes, alternate scenes, the trailer, and this is the DVD, and it has features! Holy shit! The DVD actually has features! Thank you! I know some people are like, eh, what's the big deal? But I enjoyed it because it did not... The ending to rot. And I think it rot so much, I don't want them to do another one. I really don't. Um, oh, should I give my other one? Should I give my other movie? Nah. Nah. I was going to get the first film the collector and put it side by side, but then I thought about my like, why. <laughs> but I was going to say, uh, watching those two films back to back is going to be uh, one great movie. Uh, I is so. I see you took off the the price, so you wouldn't make me feel bad. <laughs> Proud, is this God? This guy, this is brand new, brand new. Oh my god, man. This was on my wish list. I gotta take it off now. I'm sick. I mean, I already reviewed the film, so I'm not sure if I do a review again, but. Holy shit. I know people say, oh, this is just like saw, but the thing is, this actually has a hero. One guy that's actually a hero in the film. That's what I miss. I miss heroes in horror films. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I miss heroes in horror films, especially a guy. That's fucking rare unless you have Ash or Doug from Hills of Eyes remake or something. Or John D. LeMay from Jason Goes to Hell. Yeah. But um, this is great. This is great. I love it. I love it. Please don't make another one and screw it up. Okay, these two are just fine. Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton. Okay, the, just these two are good enough. But thank you, thank you. That's very cool. Wow. Now, what's next now? Uh, let's go with this one. I don't. I can't show the back. Is having a dress so I don't want to give that away. Well, I'll just put it down here then. This, I believe, is from Waza999 Abel. From overseas. Which, that's expensive to send stuff overseas. Shit, that's really expensive. In my opinion. That's expensive. Let's we'll, we'll see what these are. Ooh. First up is Ghost Watch. I've heard of this. One of the most controversial TV programs of a generation. Banned for a decade, the cult TV ghost mockumentary. I remember hearing about this. This is the this is really interesting. I've heard of this. The BBC broadcast Ghost Watch on a. He, the BBC, of course, from overseas. <clears throat> they broadcast something called Ghost Watch on Halloween in 1992. It seemed to be a live broadcast, which was a cross between Crime Watch and the movie Poltergeist. The program terrified Britain and caused outrage in the press. Pretty much these two uh, journalists visited this house that, you know, they think there's, oh my god, it's haunted and there's an evil spirit. And when they showed it, people thought this was real. And then they got pissed on, why did you show this? And why did you do that? And 
they were really pissed. It's like, although Peter Fitch and the masterly, the masterly combination of great scripting, intuitive direction, and perfect casting made the supernatural pastiche appear frighten, frighteningly real. I can't talk. Despite being part of BBC's drama Stream One series, the presence of Michael Parkinson. I think he worked for BBC. Convinced thousands of people it was real. The drama caused an uproar and was banned from repeat transmission for over a decade. So it wasn't because it was gory or nudity or anything. It's just they thought this was real and people got pissed. But yeah, Sarah Green and Craig Charles report from a reputedly haunted North London council house for the outside broadcast. Whilst Michael Parkinson and Mike Smith stay in the warmth and safety of a BBC studio. The early family are allegedly being harassed by the ghost pipes, so named as his banging and crashing were initially attributed to bad plumbing. After a deliberately slow start, the crescendo sees children speaking in tongues, Sarah Green sent to her doom, and Michael Parkinson possessed by an evil spirit. Well, damn, I already know the ending now. <laughs> they gave the ending away on the fucking the back of the DVD. Huh. I have heard of this movie. I guess you call it a movie. I've heard of this. This is going to be interesting because I. Some documentary before it became popular. This is going to be interesting to watch. This is going to be interesting. Wow. Ah. Daniel Craig, cool. Before James Bond, it was Layer Cake. I have never seen this one. Daniel Craig, Cole Meany, Sienna Miller, Michael Gambon. From the producer of Snatch, Matthew Vaughn. Oh, Matt, Matthew Vaughn, okay. This guy went on to do Kick Ass and It's Men First Class and Bullshit. Makes his directorial debut in the stylish crime thriller Layer Cake. Successful cocaine dealer Daniel Craig is a successful cocaine dealer who has earned a respected place among England's mafia elite and plans on an early retirement from the business. However, big boss Jimmy Price hands down a tough assignment. Find the missing daughter of Jimmy's old pal Edward. Complicating matters are millions of pounds worth of grade A ecstasy, a brutal Serbian game, and a whole series of double crossing. When a seemingly straightforward drug deal goes awry, he has to break his diehard rules and turn up the heat, not only to outwit the overgeam and come out on top, but to save his own skin. Damn, it's a two disc. Wow. Yeah, there's disc one. Wow. Director and writer commentary, two alternate endings, deleted scenes, QA with Matthew Vaughn Daniel Craig, making a promo, music video. Wow. Huh. I'm a big fan of Daniel Craig. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of Daniel Craig, so that would be cool. That would be interesting to take a look at this. Very interesting. That's very cool. Two very interesting things you sent me, man. Thank you. I don't want to say your name because, like your real name, because, you know, I'm like, hey, there's this guy's name. Just, you know, some people don't like that. Some people don't want their real name to be known. So I'll just say it's, it's Waza. 999Abel. I definitely know it's him because he was mentioned Royal Mail and uh, Royal Mail. <clears throat> wow. Already this is fucking awesome. And I still got one more, and that is Lane 618. I know he told me what it was, and I fucking forgot because I'm an idiot. But it's weird. I, I can remember some shit, and there's some shit I just forget because I'm an idiot. What I should do is not show my butt crack. And. Wow. This is a big. I just to all you guys, man.
Unbelievable. I get all this stuff and you know all these movies I watch and stuff I always complain what do I have to complain about look at this why am I complaining like a bitch this is just I'm so I feel so lucky I really do it's not even bullshit this is just, I know I may be seem over the top of damn it I think I remember now what he said. Shit, I don't want to show his address and get him in trouble like, what the fuck? I want to put this in here so it, I don't accidentally show, oh shit, here's his name and address. Now you can find him and steal something. I'm not looking at them now. Ooh, shit. You know what? I gotta be honest. I have never seen this movie. I know, I know. I have never seen this flick. I've never seen this. And, oh, the fucking male. Stupid ass male. Well, they brought the DVD cover. But hey, the DVD is still fine. That's all that matters to me. Stupid mail. Someone sends me something. They fucking fucked it up. Stupid mail. Wow, this has features. All about the birds. The original ending. Tippy Hedron screen test. The birds is coming. Suspense story. Other than... Wow. This would be interesting to watch for the first time because I've never seen this. Who knows if I if I review this, maybe I review the birds too, and then shoot myself in the face after. This is a collector's edition too, man. A collector's edition, widescreen. Holy shit! With features. Wow, I've never seen that. I know I've never seen that. Ah. Yep, this is what I thought. This is what I thought. <clears throat> this is what I thought. <laughs> you mentioned this, because I did the Sausage Factory, and we are talking about David Cronenberg, so he sent me some David Cronenberg films. So, Eastern Promises, with Vito Mortensen. This is a film, Naomi Watts. This is a film he did after History of Violence. Shit, I'm trying to find a year. 2007? Criminal mastermind finds his ties to a notorious crime family shaking when he crosses his path with Anna, a midwife who has accidentally recovered evidence against them. Their unusual relationship sets off an unstoppable chain of murder, mystery, and deception, and explosive film critics are calling provocative and engrossing. Eastern Promises. And this one... <clears throat> I remember seeing this once and hating it. But it's going to be interesting seeing this film again, and maybe my opinion will change. And that is... Existence. <clears throat> I think I remember when I first saw this not liking it because I didn't understand what the hell was going on with the ending. The ending, I'm like, what the fuck is up with that ending? Because it's like, they won, but then they're really, the whole time in the movie, they had this headset, so it was all fake. But then they start killing people. Because like, then I know that's the point. Is it fake? Is it real? I'm like, okay, David Cronenberg, you're doing a little overboard with that. Like, I got that with video drawing. Like, did he shoot himself and kill himself? Did he shoot himself and did that symbolize him killing the unit that's going in his head? Like, you know, even if you're pushing it. But here it's like, you're really pushing, like, 
it's fact that you find out most of it's fake, and then <clears throat> where does reality stop and the game begin? I understand, but it's like it got to a point where I just got frustrated. What the fuck? I feel bad about this one. The dead zone. Just I already have the dead zone. I have like a DVD that has uh, features on it. But man, this I will say this DVD looks better. It just looks better. I mean, you got a slip cover. Um, I like the cover in this better than the. Cause this the special edition. It has just like Christopher Walker, like just here, and then here it's like just a bunch of words and shit. Um, <clears throat> but this DVD cover looks a lot better than that. I like the the way they did the tiles on this DVD better. Um, did I talk about the Dead Zone? I don't know. Just like David Cronenberg. The ones I had, well, I have more now thanks to, thanks to Lane. But the ones I had were only like Videodrome, and The Dead Zone, and The Fly. I think those are the only three David Cronenberg films I have until now. So, uh, I think I sit on there and like I didn't, you know, because I only had those three films. I had seen Scanners long time ago. Um, History of Violence I had seen a while ago. I think I've seen Eastern Promises once, but I don't really remember much to it. Like this is I had seen once, but I didn't have these. But I feel bad. I feel bad. I really do, because you know, he could be like, "Oh fuck! I spent money on this jerk off. He already has it." I shouldn't have said anything. I should have said nothing. Now I feel like an asshole even more so. This DVD does look better though. It just looks, I don't know, just the back cover, I remember, it looks better than the one I have. And no, I'm not going to sell it. I don't sell stuff that people gave me. This looks better. This looks better. This is those early Paramounts. Even the case like feels like there's actual weight to it. Like it doesn't have the stupid fucking recycling sign. Like I won't recycle fucking DVD cases. Recycle bin. Yeah, I want. I, that's what I do. Recycle bin. I recycle DVD cases. They put that fucking recycling sign here. Is actually some weight, which is good. Doesn't feel like I'm gonna break it like a toothpick. So that's the dead zone. And this one I had not seen. I have heard about, but I had not seen. Holy shit, there's features. Dead Rainers. I know the people talk good things about this film. This is one I had never seen, though. Dead Rainers. I had never seen this one. I know Jeremy Irons is in it. This actually has a commentary by Jeremy Irons. Cool. A featurette, behind the scenes featurette. Dead Arena Psychological Profiler. A trailer. Based about these identical twins who share a medical practice. They also share this woman. Twin gynecologists whose emotional dependency classes to mind games, madness, and murder. Split screen techniques, body doubles, and irons uncanny acting to an eerie, fat based tale, unnerving but also enthralling. Dead Rainers. Be interesting. Guess I have to make like a David Cronenberg sort of week or something. Talk about some of these David Cornberg films. Did I talk about The Fly? I think I talked about The Fly. Well, I can always talk about it again. I've talked about other films more than once. So, 
I know it's 24 minutes. I don't know what to say. This is just amazing to me. This is amazing. I mean, I look at this and I go... Feel, I really feel like I don't deserve this. But I can say I thank you guys so, 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 so much. I mean, first power 100 for this and this for Waza 999able for layer cake. This will be interesting. I've never, I like Daniel Craig, I've never seen this. And Ghost Watch, I've heard of this. And this makes me think of now. There was two f films I were I was going to review. One was called Special Bulletin. Another was called uh, One was a UFO and one was there was a terrorist with a bomb. Fuck, I forgot the name of it now. Special Bulletin and Maybe someone down below will mention it. And this reminds me of that kind of thing, which I, I find interesting. I do find interesting. <clears throat> and then Lane, 618, a lot of movies, man. This is a lot of money. I know he's like, well, I got them for cheap. It's still a lot of money. So, Dead Ringers. Dead Zone. Existence. I think that's how you say it. It just ends. Eastern Promises. And the Birds. And this, this is brand new, too. This is brand new. Stupid mail, though. Yeah, the DVD's fine. The DVD's fine, so it doesn't matter about the case. It's just, someone's nice enough to send me something. I think the mail should fucking, you know, learn a little respect, fucking mail, but. Someone's nice enough to send me something. Put that over here so again, don't accidentally show off the damn address. But wow. This is this is crazy. Look at look at all this. Look at all this. Look at that. Thanks to Lane six eighteen, I now have a decent sized David Cronenberg collection. If I ever do like a David Cronenberg, I want to get these films reviewed for him, but I'll look up. Maybe I'll look up online, like some. Uh, some Streaming sites for like the brood and history of violence and stuff watch them at the end to review them for him Or I don't know may I may I just review these maybe he just wants me to review these but I don't think he was expecting for a review. He just said he was he was just being nice and just wanted to send me something That's just in insanely fun <laughs> Fun it is fun because this is fun So I just it's, it's, thank you so much for that it just I don't know what more I can say, but thank you guys for watching this unpackaging video. And stay tuned. I just want to make sure what day it is. That Monday. Next video will be on Monday. So thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. And thank you.